Version 0.37 of Metabase gives you new tools to make your dashboards even more interactive. Now when you edit your dashboards, you'll see that each chart has this new option called click behavior, where you'll get to pick what happens when you click on that chart. Um, you can tell your charts to either open up the Metabase Actions menu, go to a custom destination like another dashboard or some other URL, or you can have the chart update a dashboard filter or cross filter the dashboard. What's really great is that these um, click options also work for SQL cards. So up until this version of Metabase, um, SQL questions or charts didn't have any built-in drill-through behavior, but now you can give them some drill-through behavior. In this case, I've made this SQL bar chart here um, cross-filter my dashboard. So when I click on one of the bars in it, it's gonna update the filter value on my dashboard. I've set up this um, map chart to do the same thing. So it's going to update my state filter here. So when I click on California, it's updated to say California. We've also added um, another feature to dashboard filters called um, linked filters. So in this case, I've got this state filter and a city filter, and it would be really great if um, my city filter would only show the cities that are in California. So that's exactly how I've set this up. So if I show you before um, I select a state, I can search here for uh, cities and it'll show me all the cities in the United States. But if I go back here and pick California manually or select it on my map, then when I type in that same letter, it's only gonna show me the cities that are actually in California. Um, I can also tell my tables to go to um, a different destination or to have customized click behavior. So in this case, I've got this um, table here that lists a bunch of my different products that we sell. And I have set it up so that when I click on one of these products, it's actually gonna go to a different dashboard entirely and give me some detailed information about that particular product. You can imagine using this for lots of things, like maybe you wanna have um, you know, a list of your users and go to a detailed view of uh, a user dashboard or something like that. So in this case, we can check out the details for this intelligent iron shirt. And it's gonna take me over to my product um, details or product me metrics dashboard here. And it's automatically passed over the ID of that particular product to the filter widget that's on this dashboard. And it also passed along the value of the state filter um, because I uh, told the link on that table to pass over that value as well. So these are pretty powerful when used in conjunction. And then lastly, down here, I've got an example of how you can tell a chart or a column in a table to go to an external destination entirely. So in this case, I've wired things up so that this ID column is going to go to this other website that gives you information about integers. So I'm kind of curious about the number 487, so why don't we learn about it? So it goes to this external website. Oh, neat, it turns out that 487 is prime. So that's just a few of the things that you can do with the dashboard interactivity features that we've added in 0.37, and we can't wait to see what you do with them.